We want you to feel comfortable using your printers when people show up to check in at an event. If you need an immediate fix, the best thing you can do is connect your station to another printer that's already working. Select the gear icon in the bottom corner to open up your station settings. You'll need to enter a station key, so use yours if you have one or find an administrator. From there, open up the Print To dropdown, then choose which station you want to send your labels to. Now you can check someone in at this station, and the labels will print at this other station that's already up and running. That's how it works. Okay, if you're just setting things up in a non-emergency situation, let's talk about how to get your station connected to the right printer. First, always turn on your printers first, and then your devices. If you turn on your devices first, as soon as you turn on a printer, all the devices will connect to that printer. When you turn your printers on first, then they're all available as you turn your devices on and they can all connect to the right one. Start by looking for the icon at the bottom of the screen. If you're connected to a printer, it should show a gray icon. If you're not connected, you'll see a yellow triangle. Click on the icon to start troubleshooting. When you get to the settings page, the first thing you'll see is a list of the printers that you're able to connect to. Once a station has been connected to a printer, it will automatically attempt to connect to that same printer the next time. However, depending on how your Wi-Fi network is set up, if there are too many devices at one time, your printer could get kicked off the network. If that happens, then your device will automatically look for the next available printer. Now the station says it's connected, but it's not printing in the place you would expect. In that case, make sure your printer gets reconnected to the Wi-Fi. Then go to the printer settings on your station and select the printer that you want. To avoid this problem, it's a good idea to set up a separate network just for your printers and stations. That way, no matter what happens with your main network, it won't affect those connections. 